Hey, Jay from Jay's Garage here. So before the video actually starts, i uh, just going to let you guys know. So um, I didn't edit a little bit of this out at the very beginning of the next part because it was just kind of funny and um, I was going to edit it out, but I'm just, you know, making a little fun of myself because it is kind of funny. I think when you watch it, you'll laugh at it too. I hope so. Anyway, um, this here is taking me a couple takes because uh, I had the the camera backwards at one point. <clears throat> it was pointing the wrong direction. Anyway, so I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Um, it's a, kind of a long one, I think. So anyway, thanks, appreciate it. Hey guys, girls, gals. That sucked. Hey guys, so another episode of Jay's Guy Raj. So, anyway, I've been putting this off for a little bit. Not really putting it off, but just taking a while to edit it and everything. Uh, it was gonna, I was gonna put it out a long, you know, a long, oh shoot. Hey guys, another episode of Jay's Guy Raj. So, uh, sorry about the way I was going to put this out like over a week ago and things came up and it's just been a, a long time edit, editing this. You know, when I'm doing a video, I have to start down here when I can't see the screen and I pull it up. I got to edit it, edit all that out of it. And that and this other stuff has been taking a long time. So, I don't know what's wrong with this yet. I haven't been able to get into it. Um, my buddy that lives not too far from here, he uh, just hasn't been able to come around to check it out. And... Um, even if this was on the flat, I could I could get some of the spark plugs out, you know, kind of, but not really. I don't want to scratch this thing up. So, you know, it sucks uh, not being able to do some stuff. That's just so simple. Even like taking the valve covers off, I could I could probably do that maybe. Anyway, so I don't know why this is running so rough. Anyway, so uh, coming up towards the end of the video, my wife has an explanation of you know what happened. The guy we thought he was having a heart attack. They thought he was he was having a heart attack. And he didn't speak English real well. Um, his daughter did. Um, her boyfriend kind of, sort of did. Not real well. Uh, anyway. Um, and also, my wife said she'd never been there before. Well, she's talking about the, uh, what do you call it? The, um, the hospital there in, in Elma. And um, they have a, a, what do you call it? A, a walk-in clinic kind of the emergency clinic. Um, I grew up in Elma, and she's lived there some too, and in Montesano. So yeah, we know the area, we just uh, not there enough to know if there was even a hospital there or where, where exactly the clinic was. Uh, anyway, so what else? Um, don't know what's wrong with this. Uh, coming up in about two weeks, um, we're going down to Long, uh, Long Beach, Washington for the rod run down there. I'm gonna trailer this down there. Even if it doesn't run good, I'm just gonna trailer, trailer it down there, push off the trailer, let it sit, you know, represent the page, whatever, you know whatever whatever anyway enjoy the episode and also um i have a whole bunch of you know videos going there coming back um some of you might just screen scroll right through that i don't know but you know get something cold to drink whatever you like to drink kick back enjoy the video with me and uh i guess that's it thanks for watching appreciate all the subscribers as of right now there are 68 i appreciate that um let's get me up to a thousand all right Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Heat in the street in Elma, 2022. We're going there, spending the weekend with some friends and chilling the car. Give it a pump. There you go. Speaking noise is because it ain't the speedometer like I kind of thought it was.
store to eat a burger and meet my son. Show him the car. So I've been wondering what that squeaking noise has been. I thought it was a speedometer, but it's not. It's this. French fry and a small Coke. Tootsies. Will that be everything for you today? Yes. All right, I have a bacon cheeseburger, wild west burger, medium fry, and a small Coke. Your total is 2074. Thank you. I'm getting a little air in the air shocks. I got to get rid of these things. They don't work too well. They sag on the left side. It sags on the left side pretty bad. And uh, it's lower than the other one. So, I'm gonna get some regular shocks in here soon.
No, it's not because I'm old. Okay, shut up. Quit laughing. I'm not old. Some of you might be, Kirk. Ha ha ha.
gotta get some more air and air shocks. These things suck. They leak out pretty pretty fast, so I'm gonna get some different shocks for this thing. Non-air shocks. Besides that, one side is always higher than the other. I'm gonna send them down the road. Registered and uh, hoping to win. A lot of cars here. Let's check out this Nova. He just traded straight across from a workmate. A uh, Impala. I think he said a 69. Get a closer look. You looking for a 69 or you just want, want a 69? No. Not a bad car. Take a look at the interior. Love this color. My finger out of the way. Very nice. Okay. Let's see if I can get the ghost flames in this thing. It's really nice. Yeah, those are cool. I can't really see the screen very well. Beautiful car. Now let's look at this. It's probably a 671 blower, I would say. Not real big. Six or eight. That thing's probably got a pretty good chance of winning I love this color. I love the Tri-5 trucks. So this is Brandywine. I love this color. Anything even close to this. Nice car, sir. Fender badge says 292, yeah. which would be like a really early, like the, not early, but the Monza and like, um, I think Monte Carlos had the 292s in them. Really small, small block. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're good. He's <laughs> stuck. I love these. GT350, 2 plus 2. <laughs> That's okay, sister.
Uh, heat on the street, 2022 right here. And of course, we have the Midnight Crimson Show and Shine going on next weekend. Five star Chevy Three here, Beautiful car here. Let's go see who owns it. Fred Scott. It's a 1932 Ford Coupe. Owners are over there. I might have to go do an interview in a little bit. Let's get a closer look. If I'm not mistaken, this looks like the same color as my Nova. I'd love to see them sitting side by side for comparison. Let's look at the engine. Now some people aren't gonna like this. They're gonna think it's too much orange, but uh, I like it. A lot of body color in there, and it's done really well too. Epic 64. Let's look at the interior. Man, you know I'm betting it's five speed. Alright. Oh, I dig the steering wheel. Black and orange, just like the paint job. So this is pretty cool. What I really dig about that is uh, he built that, the rear end. Um, probably cut you that piece on the back and uh, he put that right through there, the middle of it. That is pretty cool. Instead of it having it just sticking out, he encased it in that basically. And it's got the bolt there so it swivels back and forth a little bit. Got a tank, he uh, fabricated that to be able to get this tank in there. Got uh, tape on it so it doesn't spill the gas. Anyway, uh, airbagged. Cool truck. the world vortex Look at that valve down there All right here's mine daily driver got my banner up Color right over here is really nice. Yo, I found a beautiful GTO. <laughs> Pun intended. Great looking car. 